are truly horrible. Imagine you just laid down, just starting to drift off, when out of the corner of your eye, you see it staring back at you, as if it were there the whole night. You had just turned off the lights merely inches from that very spot before getting into bed with long, bony fingers wrapping around your open door frame, accompanied by the black silhouette of a half-cocked head looking into your bedroom. No matter how hard you try, you can't let out even the faintest whimper, unable to move a finger, forced to stare at this grimacing abomination seemingly about to devour your entire being. This experience is known as sleep paralysis, and it's actually pretty common, believe it or not. Sleep paralysis is a condition where a person is mentally conscious but cannot physically move. It's oftentimes accompanied by hallucinations. Thankfully, this is nothing more than the byproduct of a half-awake or half-asleep brain. Probably. Let's dive into some of the most commonly shared visions of true horror, figures only to be seen in your worst nightmares, more notably the ones where you're half-awake. Numerous people from around the world throughout literally all of history claim to have woken in the night to find a shadowy figure looming over them. More notably, most of the afflicted recall a hat on the figure's head. Dubbed the Hat Man, many witnesses claimed he's over six feet tall and always wears a hat. According to stories about the ghastly hat man, he often appears during times of emotional turmoil or traumatic events and will often observe you as you sleep. This ghastly apparition is said to wear a fedora or a top hat, a trench coat, and have red glowing eyes. Some claim that the hat man carries a gold pocket watch attached to a chain on his belt that he occasionally looks at. Spooky. Some people from time to time claim to be attacked by the hat man. Everyone who's supposedly seen this thing has lived to talk about it. Still probably. There's a variety of different information available out there about the hat man, but most of it's conflicting and some of it's downright strange to say the least including the theory that he uses a look-don't-touch approach for a calculated reason. It creates a brew of confusion, anticipation, and fear in his victim. He can then feed off of... Yeah. This is the purpose of the hat man's visit. The bedroom of the victims are his demonic charging stations, sometimes looking at you through a mirror which somehow amplifies his gaze. I think we're done here. Studies have suggested around 7% of the general population have experienced sleep paralysis at least once in their lifetime. Personally, my sleep paralysis demon is the Skungili Man. This is an evil humanoid entity who bears the resemblance of a seven foot tall humanoid mixed with several forms of sea creatures. He inhabits a pocket parallel dimension of his own creation known as the Mouth of Madness. Not much is known about him, but according to the legends, the moment a person says his name, crap, he or she will become visible to the Skungili Man through the barriers between worlds. Should that person continue to repeat his name, more access the Skinjili Man has over his or her mind. If a person utters the Skinjili Man's name nine times consecutively, they'll allow him complete control over their thoughts. These people are labeled the Skinjiled and become his loyal servants forever, forever, forever. Those who are Skinjiled will then proceed to tell others about him in order to give him more power. This thing seeks to gain entry to our dimension by becoming more well known. Isn't that nice? In order to avoid being affected, it's like super important that you never say his name. Those who have already said it once or twice should do their darndest to avoid repeating it. With an enormous host of sleep paralysis demons out there, I'm sure if you look hard enough, you just might find the one that's right for you. Thanks for watching. This has been truly horrible. Please give this video a like and subscribe to the channel. See you later.